Alex here from OrnamentDesigns.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a bow for the top of your ornament. It's very easy so um, just uh, takes a little bit of practice and soon you will be making fabulous looking bows. So let's get started. All right, so um, I've already made a ball here, as you can see. It's pretty simple, uh, pretty simple, basic Kime Komi ball, and it's about seven centimeters in diameter. Now, for seven centimeter diameter balls, I like to ha have a 15 centimeter hanging ribbon. So here I'm just going to cut my hanging ribbon, and then I'm going to melt the ends very just a little bit. Uh, to prevent fraying. You don't have to melt a lot, just enough to um, just enough to prevent the fraying. So I'm going to set that aside. For this ball, since I have eight sections on my ball, I'm going to make an eight loop bow. And for each two loops, I need 20 centimeters of ribbon. So for this bow, I'll use four pieces of 20 centimeter ribbon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead here. You don't need to see me cut every single piece of ribbon. I think you get the point. Um, and as you can see here, there's my hanging ribbon. That's about five centimeters shorter than the others. And again, I'm going to just melt the ends of my loop ribbons to prevent the fraying. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, you, it's possible that you can't if you're using um, some kind of ribbon that just burns rather than you know uh, melts, then I suggest you don't do this. Um, but this is particularly useful for um, certain types of ribbon like organza that fray really easily. Um, okay, next you need uh, you need something to pin your ribbon on to, um, some sort of base. So you can use like a star type bead like you just saw, or you can use a large sequins like this. These are pretty cheap options. Uh, sequins are, are really affordable. Um, the most expensive option is a bead cap like this and these are a couple of dollars for only like four or five so this is the most expensive option um, if unless you're buying them in bulk they might be cheaper but uh, but they look the nicest as well um, so today I think because my ornament is so simple I'm gonna go ahead and use a bead cap just uh, it just just to make it look a little bit nicer um, all right, you're going to need some pearl head pins. Um, these are two inch corsage pins that I'm using. They're a little bit long, inch and a half will do just fine. Um, and you're going to thread your bead cap onto the pin and then take your hanging ribbon and thread the end on and then loop it around to make sure you don't twist it. Oops, I've twisted it so I've got to... Okay, let's try this again. Loop it around and make a loop like that. Now, as you can see, the shiny side of my ribbon is facing outwards. And the dull side of my ribbon is facing inwards. Okay, that's important um, if you're using a ribbon that has two sides. So make sure that it's facing the right way. All right, next, take your loops, uh, your loop ribbons, and fold them in half and pinch them in the middle to make a crease. And you'll do that on all four pieces of ribbon. Uh, this works really nicely with metallic ribbon. The satin ribbon, it's you know, it's a little bit harder. You gotta really pinch it to, to make that crease. And organza ribbon is really, really hard to, to make that crease. Okay, so now all of my loop ribbons are creased in the middle, um, in the center, and I'm going to hold my pin and bead cap and everything upside down with the loop facing down, and I'm going to pin the end, loop it around, pin where the crease is, and then pin the end again in a figure eight motion. Okay, so now you've got your first two 
two loops on your bow there. Okay, and so next we're going to do two more loops and you're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. Pin the end, loop it around, pin the crease, loop it around in the opposite direction, and pin the end. There you go. Now you got four loops. Okay? All right, so now we've finished four loops, and we've got two more pieces of ribbon and eight more loops to go. Uh, so um, as you're making your loops, be careful, pay attention to which side of the ribbon is going to be facing out towards the viewer. Um, so as your, your hanging ribbon is pointing down, your, the shiny side of your ribbon is going to be pointing up if that makes sense, um, or the opposite direction. Um, if your hanging ribbon is facing up, then the dull side is going to be facing up, okay? So that when you're done, um, the outside of your loops have the shiny side, and the inside of your loops have the dull side. Okay, gosh, I hope that made sense. Okay, so um, we're finished, um, and here's your your finished ribbon, um, sorry, your finished bow. I'm gonna put some craft glue on the end. This is just like normal Elmer's glue, uh, normal, any kind of glue will do. And just pin it to the top of your ornament. And adjust the hanging ribbon, adjust the bow, um, make sure everything is sort of evened out and you might fluff it up there a bit. And then I'm going to finish my ornament off by putting a bead cap in the bottom. Don't forget my glue. Okay, that's done and we're finished. And there is pretty eight loop bow with the hanging ribbon. That was pretty easy. All right, so here's some pictures of some other ornaments that I've made with bows. This one has metallic satin and organza. Again, some metallic satin and organza ribbon. Um, the more loops in your bow, the prettier it is. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.